I spent several months creating over 100 procedural materials for Blender and packing them into more user-friendly add-on. And the reason why I'm making this video today is because 1. I just released a new update, which I'm going to show you in a second, and 2. I want to show you what this add-on can do, because I believe that the procedural shading might be the future of how 3D artists apply and use materials in their projects. So what is procedural material? Well, unlike image textures, procedural materials are built directly inside the Blender's built-in shader editor. In simple terms, procedural textures are completely customizable, which is awesome because you can create infinite variations of the same material. You can also animate your material and make cool animations. Besides that, you can also customize the resolution, scale the material without worrying about styling and much more. And when you master the settings and try to combine them together, they can be used to create cool looking materials. And that's basically what I did. I was trying to see how much power the procedural system actually has. All you need to do is to go to preferences, add-ons and install the add-on as a zip file. Then you make sure it's enabled and you can start using it immediately. If you can't see the library, just press this button, which will reload the assets. It's one of the new updates that I recently made, since it's 4 times faster than the older version. Most of these materials work perfectly in cycles, however there are some exceptions for materials which work only in EV, which is clearly tagged in the thumbnail. I also added a real-time search bar, the second feature that has been added, so you can filter any specific material or material category. When you have material selected, just click on apply material, and the material will be applied onto active object. You may leave the default settings, however, you can also change them to alter the appearance, shape, and how the materials interact with the light. Here you can change basic things like color, create different variations, change the scale, and play with characteristics and conditions of the material. All these materials from the library were made based on different references from the real life, so we can have the realism of PBR materials and the flexibility of the procedural based system. And if you are wondering why I spent so much time on them, this is how the materials look like when they are not collapsed in the node group. Yes, it's a pretty big mess. The reason why there is so many nodes is that you need multiple layers of procedural textures to achieve this realistic material visualization. There are also some unique animated materials and effects that you can use for stylized and non-realistic rendering, including all static TV noise, LCD shader, which can be used to make screens with pixels in Blender, portals, holograms, stylized anime water, and more. Now I'm planning to do tutorials where I explain how to create these materials from scratch because I got many DMs and comments from people saying that this is completely insane. So I will actually show you how we can create some of these materials. But if you want all 125 materials with this add-on, you can get it from my website. I will also keep adding new materials frequently so you will have access to more and more materials over time. So if you want to get it, now it's the time. 50% of the price with the code Graffinity, but only for first 100 orders. It's on my Gumroad, it's the first link in the description under the video. And that's all from me, check out this video if you want to learn more about Blender. And I'll see you in the next video.